My name is Steve Chauvin. I'm one of the many, many volunteers in the Smile on Seniors program, and I'm a senior. So I have somewhat of a unique and dual, <laughs> unique and dual perspective of things, but like to share with all of you this afternoon some of the really transformational experiences and really good fortune I've had in the past few years, both as a senior and as a volunteer. First, a little bit about my seniorhood. I think it was a while ago, I think it was in the AZ Republic a while ago, I read an absolutely iconic quote about the aging process, a quote which goes like this, we all want to live forever, we just don't want to get old. And I think most people can relate to that, especially I, Steve Chauvin, who for years and years and years had this, had this monstrous and epic fear about aging too quickly. But here I am, having attained seniority, and so far, pretty, pretty, pretty good for a number of reasons, many of which have to do with the Levertovs and with the Smile on Seniors program. It was the Levertovs, for instance, who instilled in me a sense that baseline Judaism is compassion with no judgment. And those three words, compassion, no judgment, have made Judaism more relevant to me and more joyous to me, much more joyous, in my senior years than ever before. In addition, the Levertovs taught me that compassion no judgment and having a doggone good time are not mutually exclusive. That one could follow a spiritual road, and believe me, I'm not gonna say party on a rock, I'm, one could follow a spiritual road and enjoy himself or herself tremendously uh, as long as there was some Torah sensitivity. But most of all, my personal transition from juniority to seniority has been facilitated by my seniors, the seniors that I have served in the past few years in the Smile on Seniors program, seniors who I now call my friends, friends whose stories have reminded me very, very clearly how fulfilling and how powerful the mere act of listening is. I cannot overstate how exhilarated I personally am from listening to the stories. Suffice to say that when I hear my, my seniors telling their stories, I really and truly feel like I'm watching magic unfold. Now, in addition to listening, uh, I've received other benefits as a volunteer, and one of them is that for the first time in my life, I've been able to identify and articulate core values and core tenets. And I think most of that has to do with the stories that my seniors have told me, which have given me perspective about such things. The first tenet, and I, I really hope and pray that you don't think this is too hokey or hippie or tree huggy-ish. The first, the first tenet is that I strongly believe that until the last breath is drawn, most people want to create, they want to connect, and they want to express compassion. And those three things, create, connect, and compassion, are, in my eyes, the three components of everybody's internal burning bush, which we also know as the soul. The second tenet, which I've learned through the stories from my seniors, the second tenet is that every soul has dignity, Every soul has eternity, although I can't quite prove that one just yet. <laughs> and every soul matters. Third, listening is the epitome of create, connect, and compassion. Fourth, and this is not a tenet, it's just an observation. Fourth, the word compassion is not just about empathy and sympathy. It is also about gratitude and kindness. And last but not least, chazak, chazak, venis chazek, strengthen and be strengthened by, or as Rabbi Levy said at a volunteer function, at your volunteer function a few months ago, 
We are all in this together. Now, with all of these aforementioned niceties said, I don't mean to whitewash or overlook the trials and tribulations of latter years. Good thi bad things do happen to good people late in life. Life is, is truthfully not as pretty and easy as it is in earlier years. And I'm reminded of that from my 88-year-old Aunt Barbara, who, op who often says that over 80 years old, an all-table discussion becomes organ recital. <laughs> and I'm reminded of that by my mom, my 94-year-old mom, who says her get up and go has gotten up and gone. <laughs> Thus, our mission as volunteers, better said, our mission as Jewish human beings, uh, becomes even more important in latter years, a mission which one might think of as follows. Number one, to assert the <coughs> dignity of most people regardless of age. Number two, to express compassion as a lifelong venture. And number three, to know that we can strengthen and be strengthened by anyone and everyone all the time and everywhere. So that really is about it for me. I want to thank my seniors, and I want to say their names if that's okay. I want to thank Irma and Norma and Perry. I want to thank Irving and Gloria, and Richie and Frankie for the stories that have given me perspective. I want to thank my mom and dad for their awesomeness. I know this sounds like a bar mitzvah. <laughs> I, want to, I want to thank the Levertovs for their strength and, and their vision and their incredible energy. I want to thank all of the volunteers that you're setting, sitting next to right now for uh, their, their selflessness, which is exceeded only by their kindness. I want to thank all of you here today for your incredible, incredible support for Smile on Seniors. Thank you very much.